Okay, so we have an auction for something we've already sold. Um, we manufactured this costume uh, in conjunction with the Captain's Cabin uh, in Hina um, in 2000 and beginning of 2016. Um, it was finished sort of towards the end and we sold it uh, to a very good customer of ours who we know and we've known for a while. Um, for he wanted it for Birmingham Many C Comic Con and various other things. Um, he's changed it a little bit actually from the original uh, pictures that you see, and I'll put a couple of those up because it's worth seeing because I think he's really done improvement to it. It's very rare that we would buy a costume back off someone, in fact, we never do because the chances are it isn't as we would sell it and certainly isn't there. But I have to say, and credit to the guy that, that bought this office and commissioned it originally. Um, He's actually added to it, he's probably made it better than we did. Uh, he's spent a lot of money on it. Um, to give you an example, um, cosplay costumes are a lot like classic cars. People don't do it with any sort of thing of making a profit or getting their money back. It just doesn't happen and you tend to find the people, the real committed cosplayers, will, will just spend on whatever it takes to make the costume look the best. So I'll start off with the top um, and uh, I'll cover all the features so first of all is a custom made muscle suit so this is two uh, morph suits with the muscles inside it's not they're not just glued inside they he has um, biceps and he has uh, calf muscles down there um, it's airbrushed to give the muscle look as well um, the actual um, suit itself is um, it's a large to XL, but with the way we've had that's been stitched, it comes up more, isn't it? I mean, this it fits me, and I'll put it on. You'll see me wearing it in a minute in the video. But I'm I'm quite a big chap. I'm a 44 jacket. It fits me. It fits me. But because it's stretchy, it will it will go me. I mean, the guy who had it wasn't nearly as big as me, so it kind of is um, adaptable. You've got adaptable Velcro on the belt, so you can tighten and loosen it. Um, we've got it where I like it but some people like it a bit higher just under the ribs just depends on how you want to wear it and what sort of look the cosplay look that we've gone for and you'll see a picture in here is very much the original cartoon um, version that's not how we sold it we sold it as a much more sort of movie version but he's adapted it and I think he's done a brilliant job to give it that sort of the cartoon look and to be honest if you're in your without showing my age if you're in your mid 40s you will see that um, it's kind of the one that you'd remember from the cartoon. So, that's the undersuit. We then move on to the mask. Now, the mask is actually a Zagani Studios mask, and the mouth actually moves. It's on a balaclava. Um, and these are super bright LEDs that run off a 9 volt battery that's hidden behind. You can see, obviously, he's also got his full hood on as well. The mask is obviously separate from the hood. Um, so if you do need to take it off to have a drink or something, which you will do, um, then you can. Underneath there is a black um, morph suit balaclava, which we've customised, so that when you're looking at the person in this costume, you can't see their eyes. All you can see is the red LEDs. Um, we then move on to the cape. Now the cape isn't the colour that we originally sold it to him as. He's dyed it to match the, um, match the changes to the costume, and it looks amazing. Same again with the belt. You've got a full belt, it looks really, really good. Very, very, very well made. As I say, you know, the costumiers that we work with, you know, they are perfectionists would be an understatement. Go and take a look at them. Do talk to Wayne at the captain's cabin if you've got something you're interested in. They are pretty, pretty much uh, the best costumiers we've, we've ever dealt with. We are Master Direct, obviously we normally just do individual props and masks, but occasionally, as I say, we will do a costume if one of our clients asks. Um, and um, as I say, this guy wanted uh, Skeletor. You're gonna see a lot of pictures with this listing of it actually at the NEC. It got rave, rave reviews when it was at the NEC. People absolutely love Skeletor. Little kiddies love it, adults love it because it's, it's kind of from our era. Um, so you're going to get a lot of attention if you buy this. Um, if you've got a, a flash Halloween party in London or whatever, you're going to want this because it will it will blow people away. Um, so that's the actual costume itself. Also comes with some uh, foam gauntlets. Yet again, it's one of those things you might want to upgrade those. We can even help you with that if you do. We can get custom leather ones made. You could just all sorts. Um, then we move on to probably the hardest thing to do on a skeletal costume and we completely chickened out of doing it. Um, 
is his boots. The problem is, when we originally designed this costume, because we don't know what size somebody's feet were, we didn't do boots. Um, now, our, the previous guy that owned this, he did do the boots because he was he he just was thingies. Now, if I tell you, the boots alone have cost over three hundred pounds. They are full proper boots with the proper peak at the front. They've been acrylic painted and sealed so they won't crack in the matching purple to all of the rest of it. The boots alone, as I say, are 300 quid all day long um, if you want to try and make them. We've seen Pitt attempt at it and it's just rubbish. This guy has really, really made the effort to make the boots look strong. Um, you know, they complete the costume. It means you can walk around outside with it without worrying about the bottom of the costume because obviously previously you either had to have trainers on, which did, it just, it looked, it just it looked, made it look cheap. Um, it, you know, cosplay, you want to look different from a costume that somebody might have spent, you know, 50 quid on to somebody who's like this one you spent 600 pounds on, you know, you know, 700 pounds on. So it's it, that the boots really finish it off. Okay, so Skeletor would not be complete, of course, without his staff. And this is probably the best piece with this costume. Makes it totally unique, totally, totally um, awesome. So this is the ram's head staff that, that obviously, he, you know, he points at people when he's doing his evil sorcery. Um, we made this, or Captain's Cabins made this for us using 3D printing. Um, it was the only practical way to do it. Uh, it does make it quite fragile, so you want to be careful with it. I wouldn't let people play with it. Um, we've incorporated super bright LEDs, so your scar staff lights up as well. Just completes the, the look of it. Just really, really fantastic. Um, runs on a battery pack. Now, the battery pack is actually in your hand. Um, we didn't want to put it in a pole because it makes the pole too bad, but if you look, that's the way you're meant to hold it, so it hides the battery pack, and you'd want to hold it at that so you can do his famous look. Hi, He-Man! Sorry for the poor impression of He-Man. Um, so, to give you an idea, this took about 23 hours to 3D print. So, currently, for new clients who want this, because we've had a few who just wanted the staff, that is £250. It, it's just takes forever to make if there's a problem we have to start again so you know that's why it is so just the boots and the staff is 500 quid's worth so to begin to be really honest with you if you came to us and you quoted wanted us to quote this new for you to custom build it at the moment i would imagine we would quote you somewhere if you wanted the boots and the staff i think we'd probably be looking at a thousand pounds because there's just so much work involved in it, especially with the muscle suit, especially with the um, the boots. As I say, the boots to start off with are 195 quid. The acrylic, or, or it's like a latex acrylic paint that goes over the top so they won't crack. You know, 60 quid for the paint. So, you know, it's, it's a great package. So, cut to the chase, uh, it's up for sale. Um, it's going to be 600 pounds or best offer. Um, you can make a best offer, Please don't make silly best offers. We're not going to take 150 quid for it. You know, there's way too much. I'd rather keep it for it in our collection. Um, if you're interested and you want to make me a serious offer, please do so. You know, we will entertain that. This is collection only, only because of the staff. I am not posting it. I'm not even using a courier because it needs to go flat on the back seat of a car. You know, it, it wouldn't take much in the post to break that, no matter how carefully we packed it. So it's collection only. Um, Payment obviously by PayPal, please, um, uh, because that's how it all bank transfer into our bank account if you wish to do it that way. Um, there is an exclusion on this for a couple of things because we're not going to be, uh, we're not going to mess about. Uh, the returns policy on this, this item has been clearly filmed and described. We will not an accept a policy for item not as described. You're coming to pick it up. This is not going to be lent out and then give you and then the money be given back uh, we we don't do that. It's the same with our stormtrooper cost uh, outfits and armor we don't we don't do that it's it's not how it works so you come and collect it you try it on if you change your mind when you try it on i've got no big problem with that at all but what we won't do is have the item go and then you, somebody open a case against us to bring it back because they want to use it for a party that that ain't going to work ain't going to fly so uh sorry if that sounds like harsh terms and conditions but we have to be a bit careful with these and the more expensive items. Um, yet again, um, if you have less than 10 feedback, please contact me prior to bidding because I don't want newbie 
eBay is buying this because, as I say, they need to know what they're getting into. It is an expensive uh, costume. So, sorry for all the terms and conditions. Um, it's uh, just got to protect ourselves on this one. We're more than happy for you to come and try it on. Uh, we are in West Sussex. Uh, more details, obviously, once you've agreed to purchase it. Um, if you have any questions, please ask. Please watch the video of me in it later on in this video because I want you to actually see it and you get a good idea of what uh, what it's going to look like. The video will be posted below this one on, on the listing. Uh, this is also going to be offered for sale on Facebook so please if you want to ask more questions or you want to have a chat about it feel free. Um, and um, thank you for looking. As I say, skeletal costume, £600 or best offer.